Hello everybody, if you are a change agent and you are helping an enterprise or a team to move to agile, you ought to know this Japanese martial art principle called Shuhari. Japanese believe that learning the martial art went through three sequential phases called Shuhari. Martin Fowler and a few other thought leaders redefined this in context of agile. Shu means following the exact practice that your master is teaching without any variation. Ha means realizing the principles and theory behind the practice and learning new styles and improvements from other masters. Re means breaking away from earlier practices and reinventing your own rules and practices. Let us take the practice of backlog refinement meeting of a scrum team called the Trade Bull and see how they transitioned across these phases. In their shoe phase, in the first few sprints, Trade Bull implemented backlog refinement as is. That is, they allocated 10% of their current sprint effort to refine the PBIs for the next set of sprints and the team and PO discussed and refined the PBIs. Trade Bull, from their past sprint experience, realized that they couldn't do justice to the backlog refinement with just 10% of the sprint effort for backlog refinement. Also, over a date, one of the Trade Bull member learned from his girlfriend who works in a different team that they were inviting the maintenance team for backlog refinements, so has to help derive maintainability requirements. The next day, he spoke to Trade Bull's maintenance team and learned that the average fixed time needed by the maintenance team which handled field issues of their product was very high. They realized that implementing certain debug logs will improve the average fixed time during maintenance. Therefore, in the RAW phase, Trade Bull decided to modify their practice by increasing the time spent in backlog refinement and adopting the other team's practice of inviting maintenance team in the backlog refinement meeting. As Trade Bull kept progressing in the sprints, the maintenance team was elated because their average fix time had reduced and customers were very happy. Currently, the lead time by when the logs were implemented and the software released to customer was one sprint plus one week. That is, maintenance team gave requirements in the current sprint's backlog refinement meeting which was taken in the next sprint for implementation and release. The maintenance team discussed with Trade Bull and asked if they can give requirements for the running sprint itself based on the daily analysis of issues. Trade Bull team considered this request and in the interest of the customer decided to go ahead and accept the requirements in the same sprint. So in the re-phase, Trade Bull team decided to have their own rules. 1. They will accept requirement inputs from maintenance team in two phases for the running sprint. One before sprint planning meeting and the other during backlog refinement. 2. To advance the backlog refinement meeting to the middle of their sprint. 3. In their current sprint, they would allocate 3% of buffer to accommodate debug log requirements which comes during refinement meeting. And finally 4. Continue with the existing practice of refining PBIs for their subsequent sprints. Thus, maintenance team had the additional window to squeeze in any important requirements they came across between the start of the sprint and backlog refinement meeting. You can thus see how Trade Bull sequentially went through each of these phases. A point to note is that many a times I have observed teams attempting to skip the Shu and the Ra phase and directly go to the Re phase. They go ahead with a lot of scrum butts and eventually fail. Therefore, as a change agent, it is imperative that you ensure that the team goes through these phases sequentially and only advance to the re-phase when they have understood the principles and spirit behind the practices. If you found this video informative, please like it and share it and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.